As we were driving towards Solduck Falls in Olympic National Park, we saw a sign for a little gem called the Ancient Grove Nature Trail. With it only being half a mile long, we didn't have incredibly high expectations for it, but boy did it prove us wrong. There is no parking lot for this trail and you're just going to be using a turnout along the side of Solduck Hot Springs Road. This very short hike will take you through dense old growth forests in the lowland where you'll see massive trees that are hundreds of years old. Unfortunately, there is only about 5% of the original lowland left, so this protected place is very important and super cool to see. The trail is also really secluded, so it felt more like you were part of the forest rather than out on a hike. What was hands down one of our favorite parts of this tiny hike were the incredibly photogenic boardwalks. Not only are these great because they help protect the vegetation on the forest floor, but they make one awesome photo op as well. This is the longest one on the trail, but there are several other cute little boardwalks along the way. After crossing the beautiful boardwalk, you will be heading a little bit deeper into the forest. While this hike might not be worth driving several hours to do on its own, there are so many other great trails in the area, like Merrimir Falls. If you haven't seen the video of our hike to Merrimir Falls just yet, you can click in the upper corner right now to check that out. Eventually, you'll come to this sign marking the beginning of the lollipop loop. It has an arrow pointing which way to go, but obviously it's a loop, so you could really go either way. When you hear the term old growth forest, it may seem kind of like an obvious definition. It's just a bunch of old trees. But when scientists use the term, it usually has a little bit of a different definition to it. It's usually referring to Douglas fir and western hemlock forests with trees older than 200 years old. There will also be abundant downed wood on the ground, a multi-layered canopy of small plants, shrubs, and trees, and standing dead trees that are also known as snags. Here we are at the second boardwalk, and as you can see, it's another nice little photo op as well. After the second boardwalk, the trail will make its way out to a ledge that overlooks a wide open ravine. From here, you should be able to get a couple of small glimpses of the Solduck River. And the trail is just really spectacular at this point. There are several trees hanging out over the trail, almost forming a tunnel, and it's just really beautiful. I think that the hardest part was not getting lost in the beauty and paying attention where we were going. The trail is really narrow at this point, and it's a long ways down if you go off the side. After crossing the ledge, we will be heading back into the forest as we near the halfway point of the hike. One interesting thing about the Douglas fir trees, like the ones that you'll see here at Ancient Grove, is that they have developed thick, fire-resistant bark. This bark grows thicker as they age, and since these trees are over 200 years old, they've got a nice little bit of armor built up. This armor isn't perfect though, and prolonged fire exposure will still kill these trees, but they should be able to survive conditions that would kill other types of trees much more quickly. The other fascinating thing about these trees are their deep roots. Douglas firs have what is known as adventitious root systems. This means that all of the tree's roots grow directly from the bottom of the trunk instead of branching off from a few main roots. This adds much needed strength for these 250 foot tall trees. We have now reached the back corner of the hike and as you can see off to the right there is another parking area. This is another option if the shoulder where we parked is full, but since we got a spot there, we will be making a left and continuing on. One of the great things about this trail is that not only does it have a very pleasant distance of half a mile, but the elevation gain is quite tiny as well, coming in at only 58 feet. That makes this a great trail for all skill levels, as well as older adventurers and kids as well. 
The only ones that don't get to enjoy this trail are dogs, because unfortunately, they are not allowed here. Even though we are probably the slowest hikers that you will ever meet, this trail only took us 43 minutes to complete, and that was with all of the stops for pictures and video. One of the really neat things about this area is that it is packed full of short, beautiful trails. On this day alone, we did four hikes. We did Merry Mirror Falls hike, the Spruce Railroad Trail, obviously Ancient Grove, and Soul Duck Falls. Be sure to stay tuned for next week when the Soul Duck Falls video comes out because that was gorgeous. Eventually, we found ourselves back at the start of the loop where we made a right to head back towards the car. We would definitely love to spend more time in this area and we would also love to hear from you. What other great hikes should we take on in Washington? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because those really help out the channel. And if you want more information about Ancient Grove as well as other awesome hikes in Washington, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.